Welcome to a spreadsheet for solving ground water flow and pollution problems. I'm going to present uh, today the hydrogeochemical analysis, uh, the Piper diagram. You can download from this website. And uh, well, first enter the data. So I use uh, green for uh, input data and yellow for output data. So here you just press data and you can here copy the lab results for from any source or the spreadsheet or manually so let's see okay here we are we have here 12 samples from uh, 12 wells it could be uh, uh, some stream or uh, any other site and well the anions the cations and the total dissolved solids uh, here you just calculate assume the row but you can enter also here the, the lab that and uh, here the same uh, ions but in a milli equivalent per liter here the relation of uh, anions to cations it should be near one uh, here the calculation of Piper that uh, I have here the X and Y for each uh, three linear diagram the anion, the cation and the diamond here also the TDS but you can enter other uh, chemical compound uh, for example I have seen sometimes you have to use iron or coliform so if you go here to Piper 1 <coughs> this is the traditional uh, Piper diagram so you have each uh, one symbol per each site in the cations, the anions and here <coughs> it is represented by this bubble that is uh, an excel chart is each uh, the size of each bubble is uh, proportional to the TDS to the total dissolved sol solids you can edit uh, this one so let's see okay so here uh, sorry this is in Spanish but uh, well this is the scale <coughs> of the bubbles and uh, here uh, the, the size of each bubble is represented by the width so you can increase or decrease the size if you have here we increase it if you have uh, a lot of data so sometimes it's hidden by some uh, larger uh, bubbles so you can play with this uh, well any uh, any more features for example here is uh, uh, what you are represented here this number is the total dissolved solid so you can just use the excel uh, menu the uh, for the chart for the graphic display and also sometimes is uh, for example if you don't want to fill with any color so here without any fill so you can I, I like this because well you could see for example this is uh, for uh, well, well 11 so and this uh, circle and that's one way to present uh, the data the other way well here if you want to add more points you have to go to the well first enter the data in the first uh, spreadsheet then here well, where is the calculator you have to select each additional site but in this spreadsheet I call it Piper 2 you don't have to select <coughs> uh, uh, here all the bubbles are of the same size and you can have any when you have a large number of data it is convenient just to point points and in the same way uh, you can uh, edit and uh, just uh, change the scale uh, well, that's it. Thank you very much.